It's Christmas time! It's safe to say that the Sambles really love holidays, and more accurately, this lady loves holidays. It doesn't matter what holiday it is, I get pretty excited to be able to celebrate new memories and traditions with family members. But if I had to number them from top to bottom, which one was my favorite or which one should be at the top of my list, who comes in first place is every time Christmas. I love Christmas. I know it's because I'm a religious person. Like I've said in other videos, I'm Mormon, I'm LDS, and I love Christmas because what better way to celebrate at the end of the year the coming of the Savior's birth. I just love that spirit of Christ being flooded through my house and I love being able to see the world embrace joy and service and giving. It's pretty amazing that year round we forget to do it, but at the very end of the year when we celebrate the Savior's birth, it's everywhere. So enough of that. I'm now going to talk about decorating our house. I'm so excited this year to be able to show you our house and what we did to decorate. Every year I like to try to come up with a color theme and this year I decided to go with a traditional Christmas red like in Santa's suit and also black and white. So I've been focusing on red, black, and white which I don't typically do those colors. I normally go with, you know, something a little brighter, but this time I just felt like it was really cute because I have been loving, um, you know, farm vintage looks. So I didn't go crazy. I did it all on a budget because we have been working on paying off all of our debt as a family and I got most of my stuff from either the Dollar Tree or I crafted them myself. I'm going to go ahead and walk you around our house. I'm going to show you all those things and I will clip in things here and there if I made the ornament and I hope you will find some inspiration from this video. Make sure you click to subscribe before the video is over and if you find something that was inspiring or maybe you have some tips that I could do next year, go ahead and link them below or make a comment, list it make a comment below and I will be happy to respond back to it. All right, let's get this Christmas party started. This is our first official year having an artificial tree and we love it. We love that we don't have to water it. We love that it doesn't make a mess. And with the click of this button, the lights go from white to colored to blinking to off. Well worth the investment. At our front door, you're greeted by this clock that I purchased from Ikea a while ago. This snowman who's motion censored, he's a little loud, but we love him. I purchased him from the dollar store and my kids get a hoot every single time somebody walks in the door and it goes off. It sings jingle bells. A tip for stockings, never purchase stockings that have bells. It is so hard to keep the spirit of Christmas alive and the magic on Christmas Eve when these get rung. I need to clip that one off still. These snowflakes I've purchased over the years, they've all been collected from the dollar store. Every year they seem to have a different snowflake. And if you just keep watching, there's always different ones. It took us about an hour to hang these up, but it was well worth the work to make our living room look like winter. This black and white ribbon is from Joann's and these turtle doves are also from Joann's. There were eight in a pack. They were originally six dollars but I used a 50% coupon and paid three dollars. This church is from the dollar store. These lanterns, they're from the dollar store. I love these so much. The peace, joy, and love signs are also from the dollar store, and these Santa heads are from the dollar store. Now, this black and white ornament got a facelift. It used to be gray, and I just simply painted it black to get the desired look that I wanted since this year I was doing black and not gray. And then after I had let the paint dry some, I dotted on white dots to have a polka dot ornament. It's the fastest, easiest way to be able to find the desired color you want for your Christmas tree if you like to change your 
colors like I do every year. The dollar store also had these large bows and medium bows. If you ask my opinion, I think the dollar store has definitely stepped up their game. I think everyone should check them out when they're wanting to revamp their Christmas tree. All of these red bald ornaments were in large packs and I got these last year but I wanted to show them too. Last tip, always wire on your ornaments. It keeps them from falling off from kittens and kids. And the last part of my tour is this nativity scene that was handed down from my sister. I love it. There's been some chips over the years that have happened to it, but it is one of my favorites and it's so colorful. Now, if you missed my Christmas tree skirt, how to, make sure you click on the corner in the upper right and it'll take you directly to the video that I posted the day before and you can also find it down in the description. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you will click that subscribe button and Merry Christmas.